Hello everyone, Fix It, Fix It, Fix It here, and today I'm going to help you diagnose if it's you or your cable company that's screwing up your connection. So, getting started, the first thing we have to do is open a command prompt. So, let's do that. First thing I'll do is hide my webcam. Okay, now we have a command prompt here, as you can see, but we're going to open up a new one. I'm going to type in CMD in the search bar, which opens up command prompt. And here's our command prompt. Now, you're going to type the following. Ping Google, wait, ping space Google dot com dash T. Okay, so what are we looking at? Well, what my computer is effectively doing right now is constantly pinging Google. It's making requests to Google saying, hey, Google, can you see me? Let me know. And Google is responding saying, yes, computer, I'm here. How are you? It's a ping. It's a, like ping pong, bing, 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 back and forth. So that's what's happening. Now, you can see reply from, that's uh, the IP address of the Google server, um, requesting bytes and time and TTL time is what we're going to focus on now if you're having packet loss if there's a, a deep problem with your connection and you've already you know figured out that it's not it's not an issue with someone downloading big files in the house uh, your kids your Nate your uh, uh, your parents your brother sister your roommate nobody's downloading anything it, there, it, there's a deeper issue. You're going to watch the time field. Now, you can see here, I'm averaging probably between 26 and 40, 40 absolute max, uh, which is a, a, a normal ping range for a good working connection, uh, especially considering I'm hardwired in. Now, if you're, if you're doing Wi-Fi, you're probably going to see a ping range of like 80. But a hardwired connection... Uh, uh, with good quality equipment, a gigabit uh, switch or router, this is what you're going to see, more than likely. Now, if you're seeing a time response of 180, 200 and something, 300 and something, 400 and something, or even higher, you've got packet loss. More than likely, you've got packet loss. Now, what does that mean? That means something somewhere in the connection from your computer all the way to Google servers in California or wherever they are, something is wrong. Something is being DDoSed, a wire's messed up, a piece of hardware's messed up. Nobody knows. Something's wrong. Now, how do you figure that out? Because uh, what, you, what you really want to figure out is, is it something on your end? Is it a wire? Maybe it's something simple. If it's something on your end, then you have to fix it. If it's something on, uh, on Google's end, then you're going to have to suck it up and understand that they're, they probably already know about it, and they're probably working on it. Uh, but what if it's your cable company? Mm, that gets a little gray. So let's continue on to the next step, how to figure out where it's coming from. So for this, you're going to want to... You're going to want to go to the website pingplotter.com, P-I-N-G-P-L-O-T-T-E-R.com, and you're going to want to download their free version of their software. Now, I'm going to run it, okay, and you're going to want to install it and then run it. Okay, I'm not going to update right now, and let's maximize that. No. Uh, bu, 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 bu. And apparently it hates me. There. Really? Hold on. There we go. Okay, and it still hates me. There we go. Took a minute to get it running. All right. That, that, it was running, but I had to change some settings in OBS. All right, so now that we're in Ping Plotter, you can see a few fields here. It's a fairly simple program, but you see focus all the way to the right. You want to leave that on auto. You see interval, one second. It can range. This is how, how often it's going to actually 
make the request to Google or whatever server. You can see it goes all the way from 0 0.5 seconds to 60 minutes. It'll make a ping. Uh, 0 0.5 seconds can be too much for the computer or router you're using, but one is very consistent. So I usually leave it at one. And you have an address bar. Now, what I would do is just like with the ping, I would actually search for Google. Type it in and press enter. And here we can see all the steps required, all the, all the servers in between you and the final server of Google.com. Now, you see we have tons of fields here. We have a lot of information going on. Um, you have the IPs of all the servers, the names, the average ping, the minimum ping, the current ping, and PL percentage. This stands for packet loss. This is what you're going to be watching out for. If any of these show packet loss, it'll usually show up red here and show a percentage. That is causing your problem. More than likely, that is your issue. You have packet loss. Packet loss is basically, um, imagine if I sent uh, an email and sections and words out of the text in the email were just missing. They did not get to the final destination. Um, you got a, 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 a garbled message because it's missing information. So what I have to do as your computer is resend it and resend it and resend it until it gets through, which causes lag. That's essentially what's happening. Your computer's having to resend the message and resend and resend and resend until it gets through, causes lag, causes delays, and if you're a video gamer, it's what's making you miss shots. So <clears throat> let's interpret this a little bit so you know why you're lagging and where is it coming from. Okay, so the first thing on this list is your computer to your router. That's what this is, the first one. That's you to your router. If you're seeing packet loss on that first line, it is something relating to your computer itself, the network card, the wire, the router. It's one of those. The first one, getting packet loss, is all you. And you need to start switching out equipment at that point to figure it out. Um, and when it stops giving packet loss, that means you've replaced the appropriate piece of equipment. Now, if it's from the first connection to the second one, which means the second one has packet loss, but the first one doesn't, it is, the, it is either the wire between the router and the modem or the modem itself, more than likely. Uh, there is a chance it could be the uh, cable line that runs from the pole to your modem as well. That is possible. Um, for that, replace the wire first. Uh, after that, if that doesn't fix it, then you're going to want to uh, take your modem back to your company and say, hey, I think I'm having problems with it. I'd like to switch it out. And they'll usually give you another one, take the old one back, give you a new one. And you can bring that home, plug it in. And if it fixes your problem, then great. If it doesn't fix your problem, then you have a much bigger issue. Um, that's where you're going to need to keep the, your, your internet provider to come out and actually start diagnosing the lines outside your house. <clears throat> now, what if it's the third connection? This is a dangerous one. That's the one you don't want. If the third thing on this list ha is the one that has packet loss and nothing else does, you are going to have some serious problems. I'll explain. <clears throat> the third one is your local head end, which is a big box server inside your neighborhood or town or section of your neighborhood that serves a lot of people. Um, cable companies, internet service providers are very reluctant to spend the money to fix those. They will when it gets out of hand with customer complaints, but if you're just the one lonely guy calling up about it, they're going to make you do so much to get that fixed. Um, secondly, it doesn't even always have to be the head end. Sometimes it's a connection between your house and 30 poles going all the way to the head. End. It's something in between your house and that box that's possible. If you're the only one or 
only a few people are experiencing that issue that are on the head end, then it's something from your house all the way to that box. Uh, if it's the majority of the town or the area, it's the head end. And uh, that's going to require uh, the cable company to invest some money to fix, and they usually don't try to fix it. Um, they'll usually just live with it until too many people just, uh, start canceling. And then if too many people start canceling, then it gets better because there's less people on the network. Um, if you have that problem, what you're going to have to deal with is you're going to have to get the cable company to inspect your local connection probably about five or six times, and then they'll give up. And at that point, you're going to have to start writing business, better business bureau uh, reports, contact your local district attorney. You're going to go through a lot of headaches, but it can be done. You can force the cable company's hand to fix their issue. Look, I just had a little packet loss right there. Oh, no, that's not packet loss. An IP address was changed. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, I hope you don't have the third one. Now, what if it's one after the third one? Well, what that means is something on a much larger scale, a bigger server that is not inherently a, a local service problem is having issues. Could be anything. Could be a, a hardware, wires, a down power line. A, a, something bigger is happening in between you and the, and the server you're trying to um, communicate with. Now, for a problem like that, it will likely be resolved in somewhere in 48 to 72 hours. It's not your problem. It's a big enough issue that I'm sure they know about it, and they're probably working on it. So don't be concerned with that. Uh, the, the ones you're really concerned with are the first three jumps. Your, um, your computer to your router, your router to your modem, and your modem to the first, the, the initial head end in your town. If those three have problems, you need to address it. Uh, first two is you. Third one is your cable company. That's pretty consistent with the ping plotter and what I've seen, um, especially if you're, you're using a router. If you're directly connected to the modem, then you would not see this first one. You would only see the, the, the second and the third one, which would imply that the, third, uh, the, the second one is the issue at that point. It's a little confusing, I know, but trust me. So what do we learn? <clears throat> the first thing you want to do is you want to run the command prompt. You want to see what the pings are like. You don't want to see anything in the four, or 500 or above range. That's very bad. That means you're having packet loss or communication issues. Then, once you've established that there is a problem, you're going to want to run ping plotter and see where in the chain are you having the problems. That's going to tell you your course of action. The first step is you and your router, somewhere in that line. The second step is somewhere between your router and your modem. Could be your modem. You want to get those resolved. After that, the third step, you're going to need to get your cable company on the phone and start harassing them. Literally harassing them to come down, diagnose, and they're probably going to have to make several trips to actually get it resolved. It may take some time as well. Um, after that, anything after that, uh, the most you can do is shoot over an email to that, that company and say, hey, by the way, I think you guys should know this server's having issues. You know, thanks. That's all you can do. So, Hopefully this video has helped you. I'm Fix It, Fix It, Fix It. And as always, guys, if you like what you see and you want more of these types of videos, do me a favor. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll try to make more of them. Also, if there's any other kind of video you want to see, if you need help with something, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll make a video about that. All right, guys, I'm Fix It, Fix It, Fix It. And I'll see you next time.